What's up guys, this is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off thanks to a, a series of desperate Russian assaults in, uh, in in the Romania Moldavia region, the Russians now are on the back foot and I have strategic momentum so uh, I have gathered my force that's in the best condition and I have pushed them up to the front line. I'm probably going to make sure with both my armies because they, what usually happens is there's a tendency to um, alternate what armies come in. So actually make it so that uh, I've got a mixture of better infantry and cavalry coming in first for all of these armies. Because one thing I do not need is... Um, well, what I do not need is, is more artillery, fundamentally. If things go badly wrong, I'm going to want a block of infantry first and then start to see infantry build up. So the first force here, as you can see, large significant chunks of it are actually quite badly depleted. The same thing can be said about the second army that's coming in to reinforce them. Lots of them are depleted. Again, there's a couple of units here that are now stronger that are coming in, but uh, not enough. The, the core, the guts of the force that's actually holding up this front is now damaged. And I don't think it's actually calling in the Moldavia garrison. It's definitely calling in these two full stacks. This unit of three and this individual um, engineer unit over here. So it's not calling in the garrison. It's not calling in these guys. But that's why this is why we've got the army that we've got doing this job. So let's attack the Russians and fight a pretty significant battle to blow open the Russian front. Because then we've got momentum, we can drive and we can take Kiev, Moldavia and expand out into Russian territory. We can take Stockholm. We can start to uh, really make some good gains against the Russian Empire, which, you know, only a couple of episodes ago would have been a really poor decision and pretty untenable. It would have been something that we'd be able to actually achieve. Uh, but this, thanks to those repeated Russian assaults and desperate Spanish defences, is now something we can definitely achieve. So we're going to want to set up our best defensive position and get ready. So let's form a line, form up our artillery. take four units of infantry to protect the right flank four units of infantry and two of those are going to be grenadiers on the left okay let's so we've also got some engineers so let's deploy these guys actually a bit more intelligently try and use a bit more well i want to try and deploy them a bit more um into three ranks I don't, I'm never normally that bothered about making sure it's exactly three. Um, exactly three deep, I'm okay with a bit of, like that, a bit of, a few units at the back that fill in the gaps. Um, it's more about making sure that you've, uh, you've got a reasonable amount of firepower going out into the field. So let's unlimber my howitzers. So let's make sure our howitzers are aiming at correct units. Normally their most successful and highest capability ones. Because again, we don't really want to worry about knocking out like this regiment of foot with 87 guys. So reinforcements are coming in way at the back here. I was, I was overestimating it hugely. Where's there's the town in the background. That'd be quite an interesting one to attack. So I might be able to take... Well, let's wait. Wait before I start moving my men about. The Tartar are fortunately going to start getting hit by pretty much everyone. Let's actually switch our targets over. Probably try and hit that full strength unit of militia. 
Yeah, there's the Field Marshal of Europe. Field Marshal and one guy. I mean, you just keep bombarding the centre. Let the right flank deal with this. Fundamentally, it's not going to go well for them. Nice quick climb here against the Tatar there. Very well. Hit the bodyguard. Hit that unit of militia. Although, to be honest, probably don't even need to hit the bodyguard. Let's hit this 21st Regiment of Foot. Again, we are attacking them, but because we have the artillery advantage, they cannot really afford to uh, stand back. But we need to start routing some of their troops so that we start to bring in their the, the actual strong units. Let's put the Hussars further out on the flank. Yeah, let's make the engineers deploy some stakes. Why the hell not? It'll give them a bit of cover should they get charged by cavalry. Yeah, they're almost in canister shot range, so hit them with canister. Yeah, these boys go out a long way to deploy spikes. Boom. Good kills, good kills. Regulars, they could do with being shot at by my artillery. Because they like to deploy just out of musket range. I mean, quite right too, but still frustrating. Although they are within. They do deploy within canister shot range, I'm pretty sure. But I don't want to move this left flank. Because the army that comes in here may go in a straight line towards my left flank. Yeah, there they go. They've just deployed out of range. Let's just kink this line forward just a little bit. So who's that back there? What's the Tartar routing? There we go. Now they're in fire by rank range for my Swiss line. Back you go. And here comes the General's bodyguard. Although I'd rather they don't run into my... Oh, they're after my um, cavalry. Too bad. So if I run them this way, they'll run more directly into my spikes, correct? Okay, so quick climb. You guys hit. 21st Regiment on the flank. You guys hit. The 17th Regiment. Pretty much focus on the units that will hang around. You guys can now pivot backwards. Because you're getting picked on by the 7th Foot Guards who have not marched into range. You guys focus on the 8th Regiment of Militia. Getting some, sec getting some secondary hits against the Irregulars there. You guys hit the militia. Okay, you guys aren't getting involved, so let's advance you guys up on the flank to fire into the corner of that light infantry unit. The irregulars have gone. Reload. They're coming in. Fire again. Push them back. Gunners fall back. The 
said, fall back, gunners. Let's bring my Hussars back. I'm not bothered about my Swiss line. They'll do just fine. Line infantry and irregulars on the right flanks. Let's advance this line up. Now the artillery's had enough. You guys are going to should chew up the right flank. Let's take this regiment of horse back here as well. So they're chewing on a corner of this regiment. But my cavalry charge will likely see the end of that. Yeah, hit those militiamen in the backside. And they will likely not like that attack. The marines have had enough. So let's see what reinforcing army comes in first. Hey, they got one of my line infantry units to rout. Well, they're definitely coming back. It's what they do. Good, quick climb on the right flank. Oh yeah. Okay, let's get you guys to actually attack that regiment of foot. So my cavalry is going to pierce through this section of the line and then storm forward. You men form square because it looks like they've kind of busted straight through your line. Hit the 48th. You guys have to hit them. You guys are going to drop into square. New men push up. There we go. The marines are routed. So who's coming in? Oh, perfect. He's right behind us. I'll just let him march in for now. You men annihilate that irregulars unit. Okay, howitzers, let's start to attack with a round shot. Some of these units that are now entering. Well, soon they'll be coming in in, in numbers. There we go, you men form line. You guys canister shot the 48th. Get my regiment of horse further up. Smash in the back of those militia. Get these hussars forward. Have a bit of fun. Let's form a new line. Let's take this infantry unit. They could fill in the gaps. Eh, I knew they'd come back. Never in doubt. So you men fill in, fill up the gaps there. The artillery's going to knock back the 48th. The Field Marshal of Europe's down to one man. And you chase down the militia. Let's just get the Hussars to go after... Oh, you're okay, actually. Yeah, right now... Let's halt fire with the artillery for now. You guys just smash into the militia here. They're not doing so well. Good stuff. Field Marshal of Europe. Oh, if you could take him off his horse with a canister shot. Oh no, there he goes. Round shot those engineers to the rear, please. Then charge into that foot guard unit. Let's knock back a few of these simpler ones. And try and take out this militia unit. So the goal isn't to 
for me it's not to try and kill every unit. I might want to call this cavalry unit back though. Quick climb the 48th, you guys quick climb the 6th. So we've got some grenadiers to the rear, some dragoons. So here's the second full army coming in, but again they've also got some suspects that are quite upset. They're in a pretty sorry state. There's also more units on the right coming in. That's the lone engineer unit coming in. Make sure these mortars are now on fire at will. So I want that guy to hit the 48th, you guys to hit the 6th foot guards. I mean my artillery, just remaining artillery, just hit those engineers. <laughs> the fools, the Russian fools. So let's speed up time a little bit, especially when nothing's nothing's going on and I'm just firing artillery at people. Especially as all they're going to do is just fire. I'm just going to fire a bunch load, a bucket load of muskets, musket shots at people. I mean that 48th, they ain't getting coming back from that one. Mr. Roundshot, engage that regiment of horse all the way at the back. Get a howitzer to pick off those dragoons. Everyone else should be fairly rudimentary. Well, you guys still shoot at those foot guard units just to try and save whatever whatever ammunition we can, I suppose. You're going to be ready to hit that unit of Dragoons coming in. They've been hit, but not super well. So here comes the enemy Dragoons. Yeah, not really the best foot forward. I mean, I can see what they're going to try and hope, what they're going to hope to achieve. And that's going to be um, my ammunition exhausting. Well, that's why good old quick climb is so useful. I mean, you can see just from the depletion. That's that's not a. If that's as many men as they can get on the field at once, that's not big. Whoops. Mr. Second Regiment of Dragoons getting upset. Too bad that's this gun team's bugged. These guys are ready to fire. Yeah, that's enough of them. The Bignoni Streltsy are coming in. Guards, like, like, like how the guards just walking in, being like, nah, no worry, we got chill. Get a quick line unit hitting the grenadiers, you guys hit the regiment of horse. So you really want to try and thin out the, uh, the more healthy formations, so they don't draw up too much of our ammo. One part of that is the cavalry, the other part of that is the healthier, sturdier infantry that'll stick around. Especially shattering units, that'll really help because it means that they they are gone, they won't ever come back. Good artillery hits there, let's switch you guys to canister shot. By the time you're ready to fire again. Oh, great quick climb hit. Yeah, I thought I thought so. 
four, you wouldn't like that. Yeah, so you're still attacking the guards, you didn't get many kills, you're gonna attack. Well, are these guys in range yet? Soon. And the fourth regiment would be a nice kill. Quick climb away. Another handful of guardsmen killed. Another line of dragoons taken out. More men coming in. Another general's bodyguard. He needs to be killed the field marshal. Okay, so the... You... Okay, those guys... Well, no, to be honest. Those guys have... Other people who can do damage to them. They've got an entire wing that's currently not being attacked very often. The Dragoons have fired a volley. And they've had enough. Yeah, there they go. Next target, the Horse Grenadier Guards. Good canister shot would see them off. Although they've recently fired, so they're just reloading. More can quick climb going in. Fired short. Another canister volley. Yeah. Okay, now they're running. See, here's the. These are the ones to worry about. Well, not, not even worry about, really. Not with quick climb, but you know the larger blocks of infantry. They'll get you into an actual musket duel much more reliably than these guys just getting hit by a few volleys and then running, you know? So you hit the Grenadiers, this unit fire across onto the enemy cavalry. This flank can then push up to fire into the corner of the engineers. The first regiment of horses just drop you guys into square because they're going to come in regardless. Nope, they've routed. New man drop into square. Grenadiers are gone. Can't start aiming at new units coming in yet. The grenadiers understandably, well these these foot guards understandably do not like being shot in the flank by infantry. But they'll take it all the same. Oh, the militia are trying to charge this, this section of the line again. Go on, Regiment of Horse. Okay, switch to round shot. Target the enemies coming in. Quick climb them too. Even if you can't yet. Human formula line again. Let's get the regiment of horse out on the flank. Go on, advance forward just a little bit more. Very well. These men will push up just a little bit. Hit the 43rd with your quick line, please. So if we can knock out this grenadier unit, this engineer unit, it's the only unit coming in from this direction. I mean, I know you think, look at all these units running away that could be more efficiently killed, and it's like, yeah, yeah, but just sometimes the name of the game is just go steady. More musket musketry. 
they're not going to put up with that for too long. No, down to 96. So the idea is that now, well, the Tumasa should probably start throwing some infantry in, well, cavalry in. When it's cases like that, it's a foot guard unit, like I may as well try. Canister shot the 22nd. There's no cavalry coming in. Well, desert camel mercenaries, but they don't count. Blast the 22nd Regiment there, right there. Pivot. Pivot the gun. And fire as my cavalry go charging in. Yeah, quick climb coming in again. Okay. Just keep chipping away at him. Go on, you can knock out that engineer unit. There isn't that many of them. They're not really going to stop you. Right, well, let's take these units, push them up. Take these units, push them up. Aim at that square with my canister shot, because that's exactly what these guys love. A whopping great target like that that you can't even miss. Okay, so this this Howard's team focus on the Desert Warriors. I mean, there's a chance you don't kill all of them because they are routing through the town. You just don't know where they're all hiding. Oh no, there's four of them there and there's one over here. So you're all there. Come on, there's two of you. One's there. Okay, good. You got them all. Okay, come back. There go the camels. Keep the artillery firing at the camels. But I think that might be all of them. Well, bar the ones on the field left to be killed. Hey, that how it's a shot's firing quick line. bring the cavalry in. You guys, yeah, just canister shot the 59th. Hit the desert warriors because they're asking to come back. To be honest, so are those desert camels. They're not. They've only lost five men and they broke, so they will probably recover. They need to lose a fair few more because before they become shattered. Chase down the camels because you want to get fired at by those Eastern European mercenaries. Good, they got a douse a quick line. You guys open fire with a round shot against the 11th. To be honest, I think this is it. Run. That's right, run across our front, that's fine. And the new men storm up. New men push up, you men push up. You guys both folks on the 11th. Don't worry. These hussars don't have to fight. They just have to run past you. That's a win. 
just to make sure you guys don't run past them, you guys cease fire. Ah, the camels came back. Okay, let's take these units. Okay, good, they are coming back. Who's got that? Who's got that order there? So you men chase down the 22nd. Get this cavalry out of the way. Unless they can make the mercenaries route, that'd be great. Chase them down. Grid of mercenaries are going to be upset. General, hold ground. The 11th is shattered. Go hit the 59th. Artillery cease fire. You guys cease fire, not them. Just push up. You guys hit the 59th, and it's speed up time. Because there's only a mercenary unit to worry about. We've got plenty of Russians to kill. And I'm okay with you killing camels, because camels are freaking annoying. I mean, those guys should pour so much fire into that unit of irregulars. Boom, boom. Yeah, that's enough. Continue. Yes, please. Keep knocking them down. I see a, a few more camels done. Whatever we do, whatever we kill is. Well, they're going to escape anyway. Let's get you guys back. Too bad we're not going to get all those Eastern European mercenaries. You are going to get those guys though. Well, you guys might as well chase down that unit of guerrillas. You guys may as well chase them down with you, and then let's focus on this guy. Keep on hacking down Russians. Every Russian we kill is a Russian that's not going to withstand us when we invade them. Ah. They have fled. So the gorillas are... Ooh, they're, they're probably going to escape because I think they've spread out. There's more clumps than this. And I'm not about to start. Well, those guys can carry on trying to kill them over there. But let's see if I can get a few more kills from this clump. Yeah. But they are going to escape. Because there's also some guys over there as well. <laughs> yeah. Sooner or later they were going to leave the field of battle, but at great cost for the Russian Empire. So we lost a thousand men, they lost six, 5,600. Oh, that was the garrison. To the victor go the spoils. Demand the surrender of the city. Not we can do much with it, because we don't have any money. But damn it, we can hold it all the same. So you guys are going to hold, everyone else, everyone's holding. We've done what we can in the Americas. Oh no, we haven't, we're in, we're in, en route to doing it. You guys continue to infiltrate Calico. You're going up to fight the rebels. I'm pretty sure Quebec is, is good, to, good to attack. I mean, the Knights of St. John, ooh. The diplomacy, Quebec. Where is it? There it is. Declare war. Call our allies in. Yeah, the Knights of St. John have abandoned them. The Cherokee are already involved. So our frontier, our force put Quebec, well, not under siege. Let's just take them out, because then it's a, it's a solved issue. 
Actually, well, no, we don't have the money to fix Quebec. I think I'm okay. You put Niagara under siege as well because we don't have any money. You're going to go up and join them. So we're spending money down in South America, which is good. Obviously, got plenty of nice islands to recapture. We're at 26,000 next turn, which is pretty good. So, Seville work research power loom, and now they've gone on to steam pump land drainage, and I'd rather you went on to light infantry doctrine, because it looks like it gets us a bunch of cool skirmishes, which would be neat. And especially as I don't really need much else, let's get on to light infantry doctrine, because Cambridge is hacking away at the agricultural technologies. Soon we'll need mass production, although we're not... No, I haven't built a steam-powered cloth mill. That's what it is. I've researched the technology. So let's have a look at the uh, America then. Allied with the Plains Nations, the Inuit Nations, the Cherokee Nations, and the Knights of St. John. So you already don't like us. Hmm. Not yet. We will continue our war. And we will knock out a few of your allies. And then we will continue the conflict. Obviously Austria is going to Really, they're going to declare war on us at some point. But we will make them pay for every... Oh, I didn't fire my army yet. Oh, no, the Ottomans are going to go around. Oh, galleons. Is this same thing going to happen? They're going to, quote-unquote, win all these battles, but actually because we've just got better ships, or comparable ships. <laughs> Psych! <laughs> yeah. We need to... We need to build up our strength again, again, facing the Ottomans, and probably take them out for good. Because I don't think they're going to really let us... Um, have that territory permanently. Yeah, Russia's busy trying to scramble a bunch of troops together. I don't want to make peace yet. I want to take Stockholm from them, maybe even Sweden. But right now they are... they're screwed. They've got real problems. Yes, yeah, go on, New Spain. Good guy, New Spain. New Spain wants to take some islands? Well, who would I be to say no? You try it, where to make... Soon, there will be a war between us and Austria. It just It'll just kick off. I would like to expand in the Americas a bit more before that happens. Yet yeah, we're defending against the Quebec garrison, so let's do just that. Yeah, I would like a stronger I would like a stronger economy um, before I start taking on the central, the main power in Europe. Um, I mean, arguably, I know I'm a power in Europe because I own Western Europe, but, you know, Austria's got mere cash. Oh my god. Let's trundle our guns up. Let's have a Hessian line unit. Uh, right flank is a regular line unit. Left flank. Frontiersmen are going to go up front. Combine our cover on the left, cover on the right. Select our artillery. Get these fellas up in posi up into position. I mean, I'm not entirely sure where my frontiersmen are going to go when I say up and centre. Maybe put one unit up there, maybe.
I mean, these guys are going to be pretty knackered. I'm going to run some cavalry around their extreme left flank. Yeah, they got a grenadier regiment, but what does that mean? They got no bayonets. Um, citizenry are there, but we got guns, and we got plenty of them. So I'm not entirely sure what they think they're going to achieve, except the death of. Whoa, fire it well off for you fellows. Let's let these men run past first. Now we're going to open fire on the native Bowman Auxiliary. No, not. There we go. So we're just going to open fire. They've got troops still to come in, or still to enter the. The battle, despite... Okay, you men hit the native Bowman Auxiliary. The militia can push up. My cuirassiers are not going to think twice about native Bowman Auxiliary. Artillery and limber. Do a bit more damage to him. You guys fire it well off. Shattered, form the line. Okay, you men can now fire, because by the time they've completed the drill, these guys will mostly be out of the way. Canister shot them, and you guys round shot further down the hill. You guys push up to the rock. Cavalry continue to push around the flank. Hey, they've got cuirassier, that's not fair. So my guys are, have a, a chevron unit, so they should, I think, win. So that bit of experience does actually matter. Send the light cavalry to intercept the general's bodyguard. Okay, let's get a unit of Hessian line to join them. My guys, the frontiersmen, are going to continue to gun down the Royal Escosse. New men advance down the hill. These guys are going to take a real funky direction to do that. Yeah, my guys are losing quite badly. Let's hope some infantry tips the balance. My heavy cavalry charge the militia, my light cavalry are hitting their general. should in theory help but my guys are falling pretty quick compared to them it's Quebec, Quebec Curassier is somehow now just super cavalry can you guys swap places Cressier doing okay there. You guys are upset because you're being fired upon. Understandable. Okay, they've now gone down, they've changed now to winning slightly. Is Quebec infantry suddenly is Quebec <laughs> suddenly super good? Because that is funky. I expected my guys to have won better, but there we go. The odds are down. They've cut them down to 
within four men of ours, so our Hessian line should start to win through there. So their colonial line should not be doing well against us. God, they, they just... They just bro they, most of their army is just completely broke. Yeah, they came back now. That makes sense. Because that they're they're a full strength unit that just went no. Done. And it's like no, that shouldn't that shouldn't happen to quote the guy from Apollo thirteen. And loads of other people, I bet. But whatever, it's that guy from Apollo thirteen. They really didn't like that engagement. It's still the garrison militia and their brave cuirassier. They've been cut down to 25 men. Good, our cuirassier now outnumber theirs. So sending in those Hessian line was a good call. Just try kill him. Ceasefire with our artillery. Oh no, hit the first regiment of grenadiers down there. So you men push up, you guys push up onto the high ground. Yeah, like they, they keep routing and then coming back. It's like, what? Are they super good, but they're also cowards? Light cavalry, yeah. This is part of the reason why sometimes you have to just storm infantry down the hill, because if you don't, they just suddenly go, oh look, cavalry, let's chase them. And you want to go, no, don't do that. I mean, in the melee, my guys should be incredibly decisive, because we've got bayonets and advanced firing drills, and they don't. But it suggests to me that the... Um, technology that they would have had access to under the French Empire didn't transfer over. Otherwise they should have had bayonets. Oh god. <laughs> there they go. Total collapse. <laughs> Is that everyone? Yes. Good. So we managed to maintain the siege of Quebec. We may see one from the Iroquois Confederacy. Oh no we won't, because their turn's already gone. Sweet. Don't worry pirates, I'm coming after you as well. Um, so. So, so, so. Yeah, we got raiders, so I can just send this army down, just auto attack both of them. That's right, you all fall back to Baghdad. So may as well give this army a general. Raimundo de Aguerto. Have them stay there and just pick up some troops. Probably just regular line. Colonial line or line line? Just get some line. This army, advance to Baghdad. Let them know that they will not, this will not stand. So I do have a, need to pop up to here. Because there was an Ottoman ship down here, but obviously they now got sunk. Then in the Straits of Madagascar, we've got an Ottoman ship here. Now that was the mines we raided. Destroy them. Accept the fifth rate into our fleet. Then let's deposit three fifth rates to there. Let's deposit two fifth rates to there. 
señor? Eh. Oficial encubierta. Todo listo y en orden, capitán. Sí, mi señor. Stay there for now. Paramaribo's got basic roads. Let's get cobbled roads. Let's get cobbled roads for both. Let's get some more spices. Let's hop over to Europe, where we need to reinforce some armies here. So, Marston. Mm. To be honest, the, the smart move would be to take Mr. Nadal. Let's combine some. Oh, it's, well, again, it's line and colonial line being getting mixed up. So then we can take. Okay, let's send up a unit of fusiliers. Take this. Take these two weak units back, and replace them with. Eh, use the regiment line and fusiliers. You men need nothing in particular. Well, you've got a weaker unit of Swiss line, so they'll fall back, push up a full strength regiment of line. Yeah, you've got more stuff coming up to support you. Right, I need to play this. Not play it carefully, but just make sure I'm doing the right things. So I want to upgrade you to a steam powered cloth mill to make us let us research the last piece of technology. You continue your drive up to Moose Factory. It should be nothing more than a load of pirates. I'm probably going to auto resolve that fight because that's quite insignificant. So we've got Quebec and we immediately need to sink a bunch of money into repairing it, replenishing the troops. Let's get a sloop to occupy the port. Let's build a better road. Let's get rid of the university. That gives us immediately more access to an abundant yield fur trader. 44,000 next turn. My god, that will be huge. That will be massive. Um, let's replay, let's upgrade Tenanted Farm, let's upgrade Coaching in here because the Aircraft Confederacy do not like us. Can't do much except upgrade a church school. You're running up to join them, Montreal. You're going to get a better, better roads. Can you men now leave Cayuga? You can, and keep it taxed, so let's march you up to Diego de Cordoba. Let's attack Niagara. And this will give us a proper front line with Louisiana, so we would expect to see some uh, offensives in this direction. But not that that bothers us, because, you know, the sooner they run to us, the sooner we destroy them. So, because we outnumber the enemy so conclusively, put my cavalry up front. Select our line there. Oh, I missed one out. There we go. Frontiersmen all on the right flank. Give them a pike unit to help protect them. Pike in the center, general on the left. So like the Native American faction is actually one of the only one of the few factions you actually want to skirmish forward. Right now, it's their um, general's bodyguard that's taking all the fire. Chief's bodyguard, I should say. Let's keep the provincial cavalry into high gear. 
Let's send them ahead to start searching for the enemy. Hello. This is unit of bowmen there, but are there any more? Okay. So our line that's advancing run. Let's take this right flank and run them up like so. Keep the artillery engaging the chief's bodyguard. We don't want to. We don't want to engage them too. We don't want to go after them too deep because there's. We're only provincial cavalry. But if we do this, we can make them be like, no, we want to kill those cavalrymen. So let's drop back. We lost three cavalrymen from that regiment. None from else. None from the other. There we go. You want to get involved now? Who can throw more stuff the furthest fight with my musket line? Let's have at it. See, they're firing their bows at my cavalry. So we need to flee. Oh, my frontiersmen and their pikes are all the way back here. Hello. Let's get the cavalry to redeploy around onto the flanks. Let's mail the cavalry, there it is. Bowmen are bows are devastating weapons. Kind of. Not when you've got bucket loads of muskets though. So this unit's gone hidden, so we need to send our general in to identify them. There they are. Stay mobile, General. You might get hit by some hit. You got hit by some fire. Okay, the Native American warriors are sat at the back. They've sent in their skirmish troops first. There we go. Garrison native bow shattered. Get my pikes out of the way. We'll get my I'll sit, get my cavalry out of the way. The provincial horse hit the native bowman. So let's start pivoting our men like so. They're shattered, slaughtered almost to a man. My colonial infantry is now going to open up on where ah, artillery inbound. One unit of native warriors. There's a unit of garrison native bows. Who would like to do stuff? Got that volley off. Ceasefire. Run this way, you damn fools. See, now they're steady when they were upset. Okay, let's try to take out the chief's bodyguard with provincial cavalry only. Run a unit you know, of pikes down here. Because you 
says, General's bodyguard units are resilient. Aha, not as resilient as a unit of Native American bowmen. You chase down those native bows. Those are just broken, not destroyed. So just run these guys down just a just a little bit. Oh God, chase them down, you cavalrymen. Don't trot along behind them like that. Look. That's right. You should gain ground against these guys. Don't. Go on, pikemen. General's been killed. The last bow unit's been killed. Hurrah! Victory for the Spanish once more. There we go. So Moy Toy has been defeated. We can replenish. No enemy units on the horizon. Obviously there is a there is a uh, Louisiana army there, but it's keeping an eye on the Cherokee. That's what I want to see. Yeah, there's a full army. Don't worry. Once we've secured Quebec, this army will be heading their way. Let's have a look at the Huron. Who are they upset with? Oh, they're friendly. Oh, cool. Westphalia didn't like us, understandably. No major powers like us. Uh, we probably want to take Geron Geronimo to go hit Stefan Tropov. Toropov. Toporov. To just keep the momentum going. Keep the Russians on the back foot. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time to kick off where we... the same In the same part of the world as we started this episode. I'm um, keeping the momentum against the Russians. Cheers, everyone.